The first most important is to understand that Britain today is a society which is very diverse, has a vast range of beliefs and faiths, uh, practiced in different ways and in different respects. And we need a society, in my opinion, which respects those beliefs and organises itself accordingly. That's very different from society as recently as 40 or 50 years ago, where there was one completely dominant religion uh, with a number of forms uh, of worship which were well uh, understood and well established. Uh, what does that mean? It means firstly for the way in which communities are organised in different parts of the country with their different balances, that different beliefs need to be respected in different ways. It means secondly that our education system needs to uh, reflect the reality of modern Britain in what it teaches about religion and to equip students with a knowledge and understanding of religion. And I think thirdly in the very international world that we are living in at the moment it's important to appreciate the potential power of religious beliefs in certain parts of the world which can lead to conflict and challenge in ways that we really do need to understand. The single most important is to ensure that everybody is equipped with the basic understanding, I think the common phrase is religious literacy, to understand exactly what religious beliefs are, what they mean, what they don't mean, uh, why people hold them, how they behave in those circumstances. That has to start at school of course, uh, but it applies to a wide range of other walks of life as well. And so it implies not just uh, a better approach to religion in school, in the religious education system, but an approach to training and developing uh, people in particular professions with religious knowledge. So, for example, if you work in the police, if you work in local government, if you work as a teacher, if you work as a social worker, it really is important that you understand uh, the forms of belief which dominate our lives today. And the more there is an understanding, then I think the more stable and steady our society will be. There are also some very specialised areas where I think a greater understanding of religion would be important. Uh, for example, diplomats in the Foreign Service understanding the importance of uh, religion in other parts of the world where they like to be working. I think the most important thing is to appreciate that everybody, every person, everybody looking at this video, the people making the video, you, me, all have a complex of different identities which are in this one person. I'm at the one time, I'm a man, uh, I'm a bearded person, I'm a Norwich City supporter, uh, I live in Cambridge, uh, I'm a former politician. These are all different identities and I have the right to decide which of these identities I focus on at different times in my life and the right not to be categorised according to a particular identity which somebody else loads uh, upon me. Mm. Now in the case of faith that's particularly important since there's a dangerous tendency to say that all Muslims are like this or all fundamentalist Christians are like that. And that's not really the case. Everybody's different in many ways. And I think the society will be more stable, built more uh, in generally engaging, more fulfilling for people who live in it if everybody, as they leave school, understands that everybody has their contribution to make, they've got their own balance of beliefs, experiences, and they can't just be categorised in boxes which says mm. that's how you are or that's how you are. It's got to be much more individual. It's certainly uh, religious education should be about identity. Um, I think the religious education should also teach about dogmas since um, many religions do have dogmas of various kinds associated with them. Though I think the latest research uh, conducted for the Westminster Faith Debates suggests that actually those dogmas are far less dominant in the views of believers in a particular church than used to be the case 30, 40, 50 years ago. And so dogmas need to be taught with a degree of appreciation that not everybody's just signed up to the dogma in the way that they operate. Uh, but I do think identity is important, but I don't think dogmas should be chucked out of the window. I think understanding what the fundamental belief systems of particular faiths are is pretty important. And I think that there should be a common RE syllabus across the country. I favour a national RE syllabus rather than the current 150 or so local syllabuses that there are. Um, I think in the modern era, uh, a national syllabus is appropriate. And I think it's very important that that syllabus is agreed by all faiths and indeed uh, humanism as well. Yeah. Uh, I think it should be that when, you, when an individual is taught about 
Islam or Christianity or Judaism or whatever, that, that is, that, that's taught in a correct way about what the beliefs of that faith actually are. And secondly, I think it should be uh, fairly universal in the way that it is taught so that everybody uh, has the equipment to understand the society in which we live.